One second. <gasps> Is it starting? Hey, guys. Yep. Hey. Oh, Nathan's the only one who knows that we're live. Hey. hey. Hello, everyone. Ooh. Welcome to Murray's Monday Maelstrom Madness. I'm not sure if I got all of those in the correct order, um, but uh, we're playing Maelstrom today. Um, if you, if you don't know Maelstrom, um, you need to go back and look at some earlier videos, but uh, <laughs> there's the there's the core cool rule book. Uh, there are some actually out in the wild now. Apparently, um, they've they've been breeding since That's I bought true. every copy. My the first role playing game that I bought back in 1984, which does age me, um, okay. uh, and uh, it's my it's my you know regardless of what we played, it's always going to be my favourite because it was my first. Even though I couldn't play it for a long time because I had no ten sided dice until I bought the box set. <laughs> I um, you say no friends. <laughs> wow that's really early in the night for therapy thanks ben um <laughs> oh. every game's a therapy game luckily yeah, absolutely enough maelstrom has a solo adventure thanks for bringing that up ben um oh. and anyway, so uh, <laughs> but yeah percentile dice was the problem for me hey um, anyway, so, so, anyway, so we're playing a game of maelstrom that i have have uh, written for the crew um being me um i might i might have done or oh, these going to fall if i try and lift them up i might have done some research um Slightly. on on what the topic of the this is play ah there we go so the name of the game is coromania that will become clear um but in english the name of the game is a time to dance <laughs> a time to die oh sorry i got a frog in my throat as i said that uh, a time to Ooh, dance a time to die is is actually it's german the name of the game is uh so we are isn't in... isn't dancing plague an abba song yeah uh maybe <laughs> Dancing play. That might that might be what might be what you call it in your household. Hey Murray, um, is this going to be an escape from the time we're in currently? Well, yes, because we're we're role playing to escape from the time we're in currently. Isn't isn't that why we're here? No, yes. we're not yeah. trying to escape. From, I'm here from, for that from the time solely that yeah, and drinking. Cool. Sweet. So we're in fifteen eighteen. Everybody. Um, mm -hmm. we're soon going to meet us all. Uh, so the painting, um, Nathan, if you can bring up that painting, oh, which one would you like? The, oh, sorry. The, the one of the, the Virgin, the Virgin Mary. Okay, cool. Right. Just to give you some context. Here the you go, virgin, Nathan. Just any Virgin. The one of the Virgin. <laughs> Nathan knows. Well, uh, we'll, we'll oh, see what, what Nathan in, um, interprets that to mean. Nope. That one. That, uh, one. that painting. No, 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 no. No, you were right the first time. There's too many virgins in that one. A different uh, one. That, that is Titian's Assumption of the Virgin, painted in Venice in this year. So uh, just giving you some context. Um, the one what of is the, she assuming? The Assumption of the Virgin is um, the the ascent of uh, Jesus' Up into mother. heaven. Mary? And, and, no. Oh. Yes. Instead yes. of dying. Yes. It's, it, um, it's not in the Bible. The, the two it's lines not, of text, yeah. two lines of text in the big picture. Um, please, Nathan. Look at that. Yeah. So that's one of Titian's masterpieces. Um, you can see the zigzag from God through the blue, uh, through the clouds, and then down into the people. That sort of makes your eye travel down the painting. Mm -hmm. um, one of the great uh, works of the Renaissance. So that's published in this year, um, uh, finished painting in this year. Um, he spent two years on it. There's the picture of the two lines of text that looks like a page out of a book, Nathan. Um, yep. Yeah. Going there now. Sorry, I didn't know we were all going to this much. Okay. All good. That is, oh. as Johnny will no doubt recognize, probably Ben too, um, that is the 95 Theses of uh, Martin Luther. Um, so oh, in, yeah. in October, yeah, he nailed that up on uh, the door of his church, uh, which is the Protestantism. Um, which, of course, is now rampant mm. throughout Europe. And, of course, the Roman Catholics are busy burning as many Protestants as they can catch. Um, so in England, you've got Henry VIII on the throne. Uh, Cardinal Wolsey is his chief minister early on in his career. The Ottoman Turks have just taken uh, Cairo and conquered Egypt. Uh, Protestants are being Bust. burned at the stake in the Netherlands. Um, the Portuguese have just dispatched ships to China to try and set up a trade deal so we are in 1518 uh, the members of our party who we're just about to meet in a minute um have all been summoned to the town of strasbourg uh which strasbourg. currently is in the holy roman empire um there'll be some wars in the future over it which is why it's now in uh northeastern <coughs> spain uh, spain spain uh, france uh, it's in the holy <laughs> roman empire at the current time um and we're going to meet our fabulous team um 
starting with Derek. <laughs> Bonjour, my name is Arnold de Champ. I am from Scotland. <laughs> and uh, I am a gifted uh, musician and I play the the guitar. And I may kill people on the side for a living. We all have to make money. <laughs> What's a gitan? A gitan is a delightful uh, looking thing. It's it's one of those guitars that are um, have a really bulbous bottom bit. Um, so a good it's, bass. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's definitely got back this um, this particular <laughs> type of guitar, and it's strung with catgut and um, kind of needs to be kept out of the wet. Yep. And I, yes, I've been I've been playing it for many years. So you, as you, as what happens in Maelstrom, you tend to <laughs> spend like years and years and years in training. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, you train as you play. That's that's how it works, really. Um, right. Fabulous, Johnny. Yeah, I am playing Grimwald Fry. Uh, Grimwald. I, I like Grimwald. Mm. Grimwald. Mm. Yes, Grimwald. Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm And what I'm, do you what do you do? I'm a Bavarian drummer. <laughs> and I uh love it. I like to play the drums and I like to relax. <laughs> so you're a you're a you're a German death metaler from from the 16th century, essentially. Yeah, basically. Glorious. This is where all the drummer jokes started, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so yeah, we, we begin the joke of the fact that every member of the party except me is a musician. That's right. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> cool. And John, what about you? Oh. Well, <laughs> my name's Thomas Tom Thumb, and uh, well, I'm a bit of a fife player. Um, missing a few teeth, and uh, I do like to play the five. Um, I'm also missing an eye because I'm a little bit of a poacher. Uh, but luckily they took me eye and not me fingers. <laughs> so nice. I'm playing with the band. I see. Yeah, I have still a going at it. <laughs> so we've currently got a, a, a guitar, a drum, and a fife. We are we are already a rock band. Uh, Benjamin. What every rock band needs is, is a singer. My name is Francesco Polpetti. <laughs> I'm a castrati. Uh, I'm very proud of it. And I'm a fantastic singer with a beautiful col coloratura. And um, yes, I'm the singer for the band. And the one that everyone turns up for. And I'm also a a, a somewhat able swashbuckler, ready to stick the women and stick the bandits. <laughs> nice. In that order? No. Uh, who knows yes. what order? That will Don't get them order. mixed yeah. up. The bandits get no. very annoyed at you. <laughs> it's true. Fabulous. And more than a singer, every band needs a roadie. Uh, so, Nathan. Yeah, I'm a tech guy. Um, so, <laughs> I you were the band leader. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Tech guy, tech guy, yeah, the, the dude, low, the, the low tech. Yeah, but no, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. I'm, I'm fixing your instruments and I'm doing everything in the background because as musicians, you're very special people. Um, and as special people who are musicians, you know, you can do your performance and that you consider that being part of the party. And I do all the rest in terms of the cooking, the finance, the organizing of travel, the like every other. Oh, so you've, you've taken, you've taken the booking. You've taken I, the booking. Yeah, manager, but don't get the manager's nice, fee. And nice. I just make sure everybody looks, you know, I bring p plenty of like powder because powder, you need powder on a road trip. Are yep, we talking yep. and powder? You're the... Well, I, I, no, no, I was no, actually I... thinking like powdered, like face and everything like that. But Oh, I was thinking black powder. Man, we're all on a different channel there. I was thinking cocaine. Powder. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah, John right, was going I'm the He didn't say the C word, Ben. He just <laughs> yeah. did this with his... I subtly hinted at it. <laughs> Man. It's too subtle for me, it's apparently. Like, the nuance it's like, it's like you... You'd be terrible at poetry night. You'd just start <laughs> clapping. There'd be no clicking fingers from you. Um, right. Okay. So so you you, you also provide, therefore, uh, a series of strangled cats for the Gitern, um, mm. just in case. So What's his there name? You go. So, What's his name? What's his name? Did he say? 
Timothy. Have you, have you, Timothy? Quick question. As musicians, have you asked? <laughs> mm. Do, mm. That's, that's, that's on point. That is on point. Yeah. I, I think your character's attention. name is Cook or uh, um, this is our hey, you. Or... hey, you. Hey, you. Tip guy. Right. <laughs> you know what? I get introduced as this is our manager or he'll help you <clears> or no, but my name is Ed. <laughs> Not my department. Not Edward. my department. <laughs> Edward is my yeah. name. People call me Woody. <laughs> oh, you want us to pay the bar tab? All right. Go see that guy. Edward. He's, a, right. he's our manager. All right. Edward. <laughs> I wrote down Timothy for some reason. I have no idea. What? Edward. Edward. Edward Woodward. The artist Edward formerly Wood. known as Timothy. Yep. Tower Roll. Edward Wood. Right. Ed, Edward Wood. What's your Edward Wood, name again? Isn't it? <laughs> um, Edward. How much wood would a Wood 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 if Edward Wood Wood Wood? Okay. <laughs> Lovely. So, um, for those of you playing along at home, you can do some Google image searches as we go to save poor old Nathan from all of the craziness that I'm about to unleash upon him. Uh, mouth only has a certain amount of clicks. Exactly yep. right. Uh, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So, you have received a uh, mysterious summons slash uh, contract slash off too good to, to, to refuse from the... Uh, Holy Roman Empire town of Salzburg, um, and Edward has been sent a uh, essentially a free pass, uh, a scroll with a um, let these people through, um, so that you can travel the the length and breadth of the Holy Roman Empire uh, to get to Salz, um, Strasbourg, uh, and you are summoned um, to play and ply your renowned musical wares at the town of Strasbourg, which is unusual because, you know, there's there's no festivals in Strasbourg. There's there's no real uh, reputation that Strasbourg has. It's got a it's got a lovely um, town square and, and cathedral, but it's not it's not a it's not a, a hub of artistic activity. Um, and are so we, are we Catholic? I'm, I'm seeing uh, Avakilian. Is it Ava? Avakilian is saying that Salzburg is Catholic. Are we Catholic? Yes. Protestantism has actually been born last year in October. So Ooh, okay. it's it's midsummer, good time to be traveling. So it's July 8, 1518. Um, if you are inclining towards Protestantism, you're only just learning about it now. Um, and you probably know, unless you are a, uh, a, a religious zealot, um, that now is not the time to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> because there are reports of other Protestants being burned um, in the Netherlands and being persecuted for believing in Luther. And, um, you know, this is not quite... So at this point in time, uh, let me think, 1519 is when um, the first of Henry VIII's bastard children are born. So Henry VIII is still married to Catherine of Aragon. She hasn't given him a child, um, and he is beginning to... His eye is beginning to wander... Um, and he's he's looking for, uh, he firstly starts with mistresses, but he will very soon start to look for a way out of the marriage, and that, of course, will lead to uh, Cardinal Wolsey coming up with the idea of the um, getting rid of the Roman Catholic faith out of England, but that's not till the 1530s, so that's yeah. still sort of 15, 16 years mm. away. That's a tomorrow um, problem, essentially. <laughs> that's a tomorrow problem. So the today problem, if you are thinking that way, is... Now's not the time to um, to 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 sort of bring that up. Obviously, with a Italian castrato in your band, you would have a, a yes. large amount of uh, Roman Catholic music, shall we say? Yes, um, absolutely. <laughs> um, we play both kinds of music: Roman and Catholic. Exactly right. right. Yeah, Roman exactly and right. Catholic and good music. So yes, so 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 um, it's it's embryonic if, if you're thinking of you know forming your own breakaway religion um but you probably wouldn't make that um mind you some of you might have other secrets that you keep from the public view it's just another one to keep in your pocket really i mean i don't even know if pockets have been invented yet maybe <laughs> <laughs> what we need to learn oh, our pockets invented I keep game is gonna be history it's just history. <laughs> i keep it in a ox scrotum pouch my secrets Nice. G I is wonder that, why. Is that, is that a moment of jealousy? Mm, that's right. Mm. I gently mm. caress my ox scrotum. <laughs> it's a big because I can't caress my own. Yes. Bag of big energy. Uh, 
<laughs> Hilarious. Your so, so um, is there anything you guys need to gather on the way? Any any herbs? Um, you've all yes, got your coffee book there. You know, if, if any of you are uh, herbologists, um, you might you know be Johnny. Gather I'm some not, stuff. I'm not no. a herbalist today. But do you There's need no material one? components for your magic? No. Wait, what? Do we know about no, your magic, magic, Johnny? What are you talking about? Hey, yeah. Well, he, Did I you know say you were playing a mage? Yeah, no, I, I'm, I, um, I don't know whether I've told you guys about my magical abilities. I also don't know whether I actually have magical abilities. <laughs> no one has magic abilities in this I game. mean, I think you can try. <laughs> so to give you a little bit of backstory, a little bit more backstory about Grimbold, um, he, he, uh, he thinks that he he has some magical abilities, um, and he, he thinks that he's a boyos, which were the, the Celtic people of Bavaria before it was Bavaria, and he kind of has ah. this sort of um, imagination of what that culture might have been like without any real historical knowledge of the fact. Um, but he thinks that gives him this kind of Celtic magic ability. But we'll have to wait and see if he actually can do anything. Because it's Maelstrom. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm wondering whether he's actually not that good a drummer, but somehow magically he stays in time. Um, you know, and actually the, the beat is on time when he's like, I'm well, yeah. pretty sure I'm, I'm not this good. Right. Okay. Well, he always he always appears like he's, he's lagging behind, and yet he's right on time magically. He sort of lays nice. back behind the beat. <laughs> but... It's, it's... but the feel is only going to be recognised sort of hundreds of years later in kind of nineteen seventy. Yeah, I remember reading. A, I remember. I remember reading a review of uh, Billie Holiday saying she was she was so flexible with time that she almost sang behind the beat. You're like you know she was behind the beat, and and <laughs> she was so flexible with tuning that she almost sang under the note. Yeah, yeah no, no, she was flat. So she was. <laughs> Behind the beat and flat, that's what we would say. <laughs> but because it's jazz and it's Billy Holiday, it's like, no, no, you don't understand. It was intentional. So maybe we're, maybe we're inventing not only German death metal uh, with drumming, but also uh, jazz. jazz. Maybe jazz. Mm. We've, got, we've got our Ace Freely. Um, we've, got our, we've got our, you know, we're Kiss. We're the original Kiss. It's amazing. Um, Could you imagine that? Love it. Kiss walking around like six, like whatever. Whatever period we're in now, like just walking around century. with makeup Sixth and century. the like guitar, like just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they were into makeup in the 16th century. You know what? Century. You know what the funny, <laughs> the funny thing would be that they, 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 you know, if Kiss was walking around in the 16th century, they'd be around and be like, "Oh, you're the minstrels. Come on." <laughs> no, yeah, we're heavy rockers, man. More. Oh yes, over here. You know, you're playing for your <laughs> supper. We might feed you if you're lucky, and don't forget the exposure. Wow. Yeah. Um, but no, this gig is actually Something's not that. Change. Yeah. This gig. This. This gig um, from the, uh, the the town council of Salzburg is is incredibly lucrative, and uh, anyone would be foolish not to not to take it. Um, so you travel uh, across. You you know you have a nice leisurely trip. There's a bit of a down payment as well, which is you know Ooh. one of those things that as a musician, if you get a down payment, you begin to immediately be suspect about whether this is actually real or whether they're going to call in the debt when you get there. Um, and you travel. Uh, how are you? How are you traveling? Are you carting uh, or, or horses? I, or I need mules I need somewhere or... to take all my wigs. So obviously we have a cart. Well, we have. Right. It's, it's actually a train of eight donkeys, um, all carrying the different equipment. Cart. Yeah, and and yes. Yeah. So like... that's 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 Francesco's. What is everyone else doing? Um, yeah. Oh, I think wow. Edward's sort of <laughs> pulling a cart for us. Is, yeah. Is that, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I picture. It? I picture this. this... <laughs> Edward pulling a hand cart with all our gear on it. Uh, yeah, right, so, so there's and eight, eight, sort of on mules eight, or something. Eight donkeys carrying Ben's stuff. <laughs> Wigs. And then there's there's a hand cart being pulled by Edward with the four of you, the three of you in it. So yeah, with the eight donkeys, donkeys, yeah that sounds about right. With the eight donkeys, yeah. me right. and the four members of the band that makes what? Twelve asses <laughs> and a bit of a Okay. So you 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 are you are certainly, you know, gathered around um as you wander and, and travel through through the various villages, they sort of gather and on the street sides and look at you strangely and mm. a couple of times you are stopped by the local sheriff to say, Well, you know, what are you up to? And you, you hand over your your pass and they sort of not bow and scrape, but they certainly 
uh, immediately mm. awed by, oh, you've got a, you know, you know, there's the good old wax seal on the fabulous thick vellum, um, and it mm. basically is indeed exactly as it purports to be a free pass. Uh, and, you know, as you play, as musicians do, they don't do anything else with their time, you play you you work out a couple of ditties uh along the road and you start to sort of build a fan base as you as you head on this road tour um the roads aren't roads really there's some roman roads left but um otherwise there's some tracks that uh you know luckily it's july hot um there's been some bad uh crops for the last couple of years so so there's quite a lot of poverty and and starvation around but also it means that the roads are in not good condition but that's dry so so they're 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 solid and you're not going to uh you know bog down or lose a a donkey or anything like that so um you blow blow a donkey you're not gonna blow a donkey hoof um and you make your way uh leisurely through the town and you've been asked so you were you were basically asked um in roughly the second week of july so you get there uh, the end of July, so it's 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 the very very height of summer um, in Europe at this time, and when you when you arrive, uh, you come to the to the to the walls of Salzburg. We have a lovely map that we can zoom in on. Thank you, Ooh. Nathan. I love Salzburg. It's a very beautiful city. Sorry, Strasbourg, cathedral. Strasbourg, and not Salzburg, castle. Strasbourg. Okay, Strasbourg. just, just, just Strasbourg. incidentally, as, as a complete side point, I love Salzburg. <laughs> I may have said Strasbourg of Salzburg and vice versa. Uh, so there is a, a, a lovely uh, painting of Strasbourg from, um, bizarrely, that's from 1572. So that's only from sort of 50 odd years later after this adventure is set. Wow. Um, so can you zoom out there, please, uh, Nathan? Oh. Tech did guy, you steal this map, guy? Murray? How did you I might have stolen. It? I did a Google image search, and this is from Wikimedia. Oh, okay. so so you don't, you don't own this map. This isn't a map. You, oh, gosh, no. You broke no, into no, no. a... It does look like it's a fisheye lens version. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing... When, when, when Nathan zooms out on it, it's got the whole um, city. Um, and then... Wow. So can you both... Let first roll of the game. Whoopee! Um, always good to do the first roll of the game. Can you all give me? It's literally uh, fish eye. The length, the image was correct. It's just mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, can you all give me a knowledge check, please? A knowledge two. test. Ooh, you I get it. Not. A two. I get a two. Okay. So weirdly, Arnold the French Scotsman. Take that one. Um, off. Yeah, take that, <laughs> and know. don't forget to and roll then, again now for experience and add one. Uh, <laughs> If you if you make it, um, yeah. So you got to roll over your number. Yes. To, to get experience on it. Oh, yes. you do. Under to succeed yeah. on the so roll. So as soon as you make a successful check, you oh, then well. immediately roll again. This time you have to roll over. If you succeed, um, you can roll a one d ten, and you actually add that to your skill. Woohoo! Oh, one d ten. Okay. So mm. you're the. Experience is instantaneous. Like is it, you know, is it walking into a door. I think it's just one, isn't it? Uh, is it just one? Am I am I doing that wrong? It might just I think be it's one. Just one because I remember that one. that it was doesn't go up that quickly because you're rolling mm. so often. Yes, right. yes. Oh, that was but that was one of those games where there was combat, which which I've promised you there won't be. So, yeah. Murray, I really want combat. Yes, Nathan. Just because Joe's okay. here doesn't mean that we have to mm. listen to him. Look, I, I'm 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 quite open for PCP combat if you want it. If you really want combat, just start a fight. Can I start battle a... my demons? No, they're in a bag. Yes. You have them on your hip. <laughs> it's in a testicle bag. <laughs> so, um, is that what you do? You sit there struggling it. Who's all mm. of it's the soft. um all of the stuff, all of the things about uh. Strasbourg, he's obviously done uh, reading. He knows that Strasbourg... I know all of this stuff. Strasbourg was reading originally a, a Roman... Strasbourg, 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 not, not Salzburg. Strasbourg. Strasbourg. What, what do I know about this horrible town? Sorry, so you every know time you was... said Salzburg, you meant Strasbourg just all the time, yes. is that right? Okay, we're cool. not in Austria, I'm... we are in France. Well, technically we're in the Holy Roman Empire, but yes. Hmm. Sorry. So um, we're not in Sydney? 
Well, we are, but we're not, because I've transported you already in your imaginary. Please, you God, what do I know? Back in time. <laughs> you know <laughs> that Strasbourg was originally a Roman Strasbourg. city, and it was called Agrigentura, um, Agrigentoratum. Um, it's actually <laughs> on the map in the top left corner. Um, and it was a Roman fort, uh, and then over time has continued to be occupied by... Um, the, the, the people of firstly the the empires of the Franks and then uh, into the Holy Roman Empire from that point. So uh, you know that, you know that it's been having some kinds of issues with the population have been dissatisfied with the ruling classes, shall we say, um, that there's been some sort of agitation along with, you know, the general agitation in Europe um, that's been prevalent, which, you know, is what Martin Luther uh, kind of took advantage of and, and, and <coughs> noticed tapped with into. his... Tapped into. that. Thank you, Benjamin. Tapped into. Uh, not took advantage. That makes it sound very <laughs> commercial. And, and, yeah. and Yes, yeah, so he, he tapped into that sort of uh, dissatisfaction with the, the, the ruling classes. Uh, it was also sort of disgusting are. selling of um, sort of indulgences and you could sort of buy three and a half weeks out of purgatory for, for each dollar kind of thing. And, you know, yes, it yes. Sort of was Catholic. Yeah. For church was becoming more and more kind of corrupt at the time, according to his opinion. Yes. But yes. Very In a horribly yeah. arrogant way, I relate that to my fellow <laughs> musicians. <laughs> but, but with a thick accent, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> And they, I course, all, it, right? they, of course, all pretend that they knew that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 knew, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Oh, I, I had no idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. So um, you come to the main gate of Strasbourg, uh, and there is, there is a delegation to meet you. Um, they've obviously had people out on the road uh, keeping an eye out for you and given your eight donkeys and a handcart being pulled by Edward, you were very hard to miss. Um, and the, the town uh, chancellor basically greets you. Um, and he is Peter Peterson. Uh, and he welcomes you to uh, Strasbourg and, and says that it's so good that you are here. We, we have been in desperate need of your assistance. Uh, thank, you. thank you for accepting the invitation. Always you... happy to help those who need the calming balm of music brought to their hearts. Ah, calming. Um, no, no, ah, we, we were hoping for something slightly more lively. Um, ah, do I need we, can do, we can do lively. Yes, we got yes, yes. Talk to our manager over there. He's uh, just putting down the, the mules. Oh, excellent, look, excellent. Uh, there's one sweaty man. Just so you know, out of everyone who's just turned up, everybody's impeccable <laughs> except for one person. Especially me. He's and wearing all black. Despite <laughs> <laughs> uh, the heat. Uh, he looks at you um, with all the black, and you, 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 can you all give me perception checks, please? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I need to say the word check, not test. No, I, I failed test. again. I succeeded with a four. Whoa. Oh, I succeeded no, with a 19. It. I'm going to see if oh, I level it and up. And I failed it again, wow. which means I get one extra. Wow. So you perceive wow. more perceptually. Shouldn't, shouldn't you learn from failure? And that's when you get to roll up. Like Maybe you need I to failed. make a role-playing system where you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Maybe, like maybe that's... Yeah. We call it this is not capitalism. It. This is Maelstrom. This is, yeah, this is not that game. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, you notice uh, that they are all dressed in bright colors not um you notice yes indeed there is a there is a, a priest there they should be in black robes and they are not kind of a, a yellowy love it. uh kind of priest robes which is very unusual very peculiar that they were in such gaudy colors uh i mean you know people are people generally wear more brightly colored colors than we think but these it's like they've deliberately avoided um, certain colours, and you notice uh, who rolled the four. Is that you, John? John, <laughs> you, you, you notice none of them are wearing black, and none of them are wearing red. 
Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. We all know what that means, don't we, right? We do. We don't even need to say it. No, I, like, yeah. We all know <laughs> it's exactly what that means. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, they even not, to say it would be to embarrass ourselves. It's just they don't like them. They don't like Les Miserables. Let's just face it. If they're not wearing red and they're not wearing black, they don't right. like that musical. Do you hear the people um, sing? That's no. right. <clears throat> I see a red door and I want to paint it black. Exactly. If you'd like to hear me sing, are you most welcome? Mm, talk to our manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's dying in the back at the moment so yeah so they 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 approach you um and peter peterson approaches you um and sort of looks you up and down not not like um he's looking at you like you're beneath him but he's looking at at the color of your clothing uh, and is anyone else wearing any black or red in their outfit most I certainly not you. i should have asked most, you on the way yeah, in what you were before wearing. we yeah yeah, yeah so I, I feel like it's a bit late. Should we make yeah. a roll or something, maybe like a yeah. luck roll to see if we're wearing? Go it? on, then. That's a good idea. Like Do what, that. What would be a good luck? Um, Less than fifty. Agility. Agility. Sure. <laughs> sure. Make it <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> what's your <laughs> what's your you dodge, Eric? One. Yeah, whatever. You got a really bad score on everyone. Uh, I'm oh, wearing yeah. black. I'm not. I'm wearing white, white lace and pink oh. mainly. Nice. I rolled a three. So whatever yeah. I'm wearing, it's it's, it's not black it's or red. Three. Okay, cool. So you're wearing, wearing black, all John. white. I'm wearing. I'm wearing oh, white. oh, okay. So, so we've got white, white. What are you, Derek? No, no, I, I think, I think, I'm wearing animal skins. <laughs> your gym jams. <laughs> So you're wearing you're wearing the uh, you're wearing the cats that provide the cat gut for the the guitar. Um, oh, very nice. fashionable. Oh. Yep, mm. and leather leather trousers and a and a animal skin coat. <laughs> it's surprising how tight those trousers are. Yeah. <laughs> very tight, very tight leather trousers. You can see two Absolutely. hands in them. Um, yep. I, I am. I rolled a seventeen on my thirty-two score of agility. Brilliant. Um, so I don't know if I. I, I guess that means I succeed. Um, we were so meant I'm to wearing... succeed, right? To to say what if we had if we weren't wearing black, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. currently we've got so we Ben's fail, wearing white. We're wearing black. Yes. Yeah. yeah cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. And it doesn't have to be all black and red. It's just something black and red. Um, Does Rody... pink count as red or not? No, no, no. They don't. They don't look Excellent. at you. Just you know. Like you've you've made a fatal choice of clothes. Um, yeah, I'm just sorry, wearing Derek. a red cod piece. Fatal. <laughs> nice. So I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing the green and gold uh, colours of the Australian Olympic team. Um, <laughs> right. And uh, yes, I'm I'm very gaudily dressed because uh, I'm a you know I'm the band I'm the guitarist I'm the you, sexy and you're guitarist ahead, you're ahead of, of your the band. you're ahead of your time because you know Australia. <laughs> That's right. Is currently occupied by the 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 First Nations people who've been here for Everything. thousands of years, yeah. but uh, but no one no one no one from Europe knows about it yet. Okay, so oh. you're wearing a red codpiece, uh, John. Um, they look at your red codpiece not in a good way. Uh, that makes you kind of <laughs> cringe. To be fair, no one really does. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you wearing, Edward? You're 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 roadie black. black, are you? Oh, literally all black, black, all black. black. And the only so they... the only signs of color are the blood from my hands after carrying all the stuff and having to clean <laughs> the wounds around my feet from being the only person who walked here. But you know, oh, stop right. complaining. Um, yeah, look, stick I'm sorry, guys. Um, that's that's my bad. I was complaining there. Apologies. Oh yeah, put you down, <laughs> Edward. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so yeah. No, it's, it's yeah. So so so. so uh, the the chancellor comes up and says um do you, do you have any other outfits that that aren't black and at the same time the the oh, yellow man, i got my costume the, ye the yellow black. priest ah the yellow priest comes up to you um tom yes. and and yes um looks down at your your cod piece um and then up at your and then down and then up um uh <laughs> do you do you have another cod piece that's not red possibly wow well i could turn it inside out what 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 color would it be then? Oh, it's a lovely shade of cream. It used to be white. <laughs> cream. <laughs> My cream <laughs> colored a cream. Cod piece. Yes, it's eggshell. Eggshell. Uh, <laughs> more of a bone, a cream, and off-white, and ivory, kind of a beige. 
<laughs> your bone colored cod <laughs> beast. <laughs> that, that would certainly be preferable um, if we could if we could see that. Well, preferable than... for you, perhaps, but uh, the ladies ah, don't quite like it. Well, well, um, you might you might be surprised. Uh, uh, maybe maybe a taupe colored cod piece will be much better than a red one. Um, and and you, Very sir. Well. Do you do you have another outfit which is not? I'll start black? stripping it off. <laughs> I'm in going the to. Um, I'm going to ask each of the people in the band if I can borrow a piece of clothing. Um, oh, first, oh, go oh you're going to you're going to you're going to invent the Langs connects. Nice, no, I just nice. I only have black, so that if I need something, I need to borrow it from one of these guys. From right. The many well, the Langs connects were a, a, the donkey. Maybe they the Langs connects. They were a I mercenary like, um, unit. I like and they used um, to take one from else. suggestion. Maybe oh. Ben, maybe you have one of those as one of your sub costumes that he could wear. <laughs> with How the peacock. A white arming doublet with striped velvet pants. <laughs> and that do an outlandish hat with a peacock feather. You can you can maybe borrow my peacock peacock feathered hat. Perhaps it's quite tight Definitely. around the crotch area because you don't need that yes! space. It's the most, it's the most, in, it's the most inappropriate roadie outfit you could possibly imagine. So, and yes. uh, matching heels as well. So like, yeah, yeah, you've got lifts. You've got lifts. And you suddenly realise you suddenly, buckles. Mm. You suddenly realize that, that Francesco is not as high as tall as he sort of says he is because he's That's got right. two inch he's got two inch lifts in his in his shoes. Um, Absolutely. And and the do, only, do, the only do thing, tell the only difference you, we'll make. You. Sorry, the only difference we'll make is we'll make it white and re green so that there's no red. Um, uh, yes. Excellent. That's, that's all. Do good. do tell um, us, good sir, uh, holy man of the Lord's work, wherefore must we avoid black and red garb? Ah, um. Well, um, do you, you don't need rest, do you? Rest? He looks at of you, um, who look, you know, immaculate in all your outfits and ignores <laughs> completely Edward's sweaty There's blood a sweaty stains. man standing in a peacock costume. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Looking> <laughs> a green and red. Real, <laughs> real down on himself. <laughs> Chasing haggard. on the crotch and area. Yeah. The four, the four of you are looking, are looking very dapper and, and ready to go. Um, of course. Ex excellent. I, I think, can you can you play straight away? Is that possible? <coughs> oh, normally I have an hour and a half long warm up where I gradually ease my voice, but I have been singing on the road. Oh, oh, and, oh, and, yes, and... I can attest to that. He's been singing the entire time. <coughs> I need oh, some no, time no, no, to no, no, tune no. my get down. How long? How long? How long will that take? Oh. Two minutes. <laughs> So, oh. Frankly speaking, it never really goes completely in tune, so it makes little difference. And a half day to set up a band jazz to that. <laughs> It's jazz, apparently. Yachts. Um. <laughs> Yachts! <laughs> you'll, have to about, speak to our, you'll have to speak to our stage attendant. He's the one who sets up everything. I'm yes. literally trying to unpack. I'm like, half a day, minimum. But like maybe we could like s s stick them on a stage, or do you have anything ready to go? Oh, we have we have a stage. Oh, <laughs> we've 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 been awaiting your arrival for some time. Come, come with us. Why uh, didn't and... you say so, you smelly little man? Show us the stage. <laughs> <laughs> you smell of elderberries. Um, <laughs> so uh, yes, they lead you through the streets. There is uh, uh, kind of like a victory parade. But you haven't done awesome. anything yet, and awesome. they're not—they're not cheering your arrival. They're kind of lining the streets, looking at you expectantly. So oh, it's not like die. a fantastic. It's not, not like <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a. It's not a sense of. It's I a saw this in a movie. Funny, play. like hooray! A, they're the sacrifices. <laughs> it's no, the no, no. I'm there's getting. not. There's not that sense. There's the sense of. Um, give me a perception roll, everybody. Yeah. All right. Let's see what someone you can should, see. Someone should succeed at this role. They're yes, quiet. I did. Just oh. oh, I rolled three. <clears throat> I'm very aware that they haven't Woo. paid us yet. I'm oh, enjoying they, they, the parade too much because people right. are shouting or at least looking, so I'm perfectly yeah, there's happy. No, there's no perception. shouting. There's kind of a hushed expectation. Um, oh, and, well, and even you, better. Uh, Edward and you, Arnold, you get the sense of Perhaps this time is the 
the the sort of the general feel as you're through the streets of Strasbourg, um, and you turn now. Or if we can bring the we can bring the other pictures. Yes, we can. Sorry, I'm just warming up. Give me one second. Oh, I, I thought I thought that was the theremin. It was a theremin. The theremin yeah. that was Derek. Um, but no, it's, it's the castrato. Okay, it's developing. There's flexibility. And, and we'll you it. turn uh, the corner in Strasbourg, and you come into uh, what is now known as Cathedral Square. Uh, so those of you playing at home, if you would like to uh, do a Google image search on St Cathedral Square, you'll see some authentics from the time in which we are talking about. Um, and That's cool. And as you turn the corner, uh, where the cathedral is, you see there's a stage that has been erected. Uh, currently, the stage is empty. All around the uh, the square, there are people dancing, and it's not like it's a celebration. It's not like it's a festival. Uh, there are women, women and men dancing beyond the point of exhaustion. You see them jumping up into the air, twirling in circles, holding hands. Uh, you see, while you're watching, you see someone collapse uh, in exhaustion and uh, a concerned group of family members sort of run out to try and, and, and pull this family member back from them and they get brushed off and then they keep going. Uh, you can see some lamentations uh, from these crowds as they watch on horrified that members of their family are dancing uncontrollably in the middle of the square. Uh, and there's no music. There's no music. You hear the sort of punctuated sounds of screaming, laughing, uh, some singing, but it's not melodic. It's, it's sort of coming from the dancers as they jump and leap. Um, and they are mm. dancing uncontrollably there's about 400 of them in this um, uh whoa, square 400 yes so that's like a normal one Sheesh. of our performances people just like yeah in the audience mosh pit baby so but the no we're music. like the beatles the chancellor um sort of says yes uh it started uh a month ago um a woman a month ago frau toffea uh came out from her house over there and you, you can see the sort of house that's being shunned. Uh, so there's this sort of single house that fronts onto the square and no one is standing anywhere near it. Um, and, uh, is it that big? Black she... one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure we know which one it is. It's one of those. Um, and, uh, she's, 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 she's st she started dancing, um, <laughs> dancing like this. We do not know why we do not know, but she would not stop. Uh, she, she just kept dancing morning, noon, night, falling over exhausted and then getting up in the morning and keeping going. And then soon more and more people joined her. Uh, at the moment there's a screaming wail um, and you see one of the dancers has stopped dancing and has basically collapsed on the ground. Um, children run out and try and shake the dancer awake um, and they can't. And there's a, a, a wail of, of lamentation. None of the other dancers pay even the slightest bit of notice to that. Um, and the the the, uh, the the veneer of polite welcome that the the chancellor had had has gone, um, and he's looking very careworn and and haggard, uh, and basically tells you that that people have been dancing themselves to death. Uh, and that the, the, the death tolls cur currently sits at about 15. That these basically danced morning, noon and night. They collapse in exhaustion and then they get up in the morning and then they keep dancing until they die of stroke, heart attack, uh, sheer exhaustion. Um, some of them have broken ribs in their, in their wild <laughs> dance dances. Um, Cavitations. And they... Yeah, you are here uh, to 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 play for the dancing. Perhaps what? someone should be praying for these people. Oh, no, I don't know if I want to catch this thing. We have we have tried everything, and and nothing seems to help. But we we think 
we think, and there's sort of here, you see sort of like a brain's trust of the of the council sort of gathering and some are nodding, some are shaking, some of the, you can see that some have not been convinced by this, uh, the, the, the priest is looking slightly uh, shamed faced and clearly he's, he's tried prayer and it hasn't worked. Um, and um, they think, we think that if we accompany the dancing, it will, it will make them dance more melodically and and get out these these this hot blood that they Demons. seem to have in them. Um, and so when when he says hot blood, that seems to uh, crack the um, the sort of the council's uh, sort of tentative agreement to get you. Um, and you hear a whole bunch of different voices come from the town council. Oh, that's not hot blood, it's a curse, they've been cursed. It's not a curse. No, it's some form of disease. No, it's not a disease. Gosh, you're so fully, they're possessed by demons. No, they're not possessed by demons, they're faking. It's all fakery, that's what it is. It's fakery, they're just pretending. No, no, that's not it, it's some banned religious cult. Back in my cult. day, the demons that's were at what least it is. three times bigger. <laughs> Well, do you mind if we have a little discussion with our manager uh, before <laughs> we... Well, it's just that this is rather a bit of a turn of events, and uh, we should probably talk as a band before we just keep continue on. Yes! Do you mind if we have a oh, quick uh, old little talk? There is one more piece of information I would like to receive. Why we all had to change out of red and black clothing. You have touched this question uh, once uh, again. Uh, well, um... <laughs> It, it, it would seem, and you certainly notice that no one in the square, none of the dancers and none of the bystanders are wearing black or red. Mm. Um, I noticed that none of the dancers and all of the bystanders are wearing red or black. <laughs> well, um, we, noticed, we noticed that uh, if, if, if you wore black, uh, if you approached, uh, when, when our, 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 our padre here approached them wearing his, his clerical robes, uh, they they reacted incredibly badly uh and and screamed and scratched and tore and we tried we tried to bind them and hold down uh you could put some of those pictures in now if you like nathan oh of course of, I can. of them being bound this is a peter bruegel's uh illustration from the time uh, oh. of of them doing the binding and the taking away well um too big huge that's a, that's a hand that's a hand <laughs> Um, and and we also noticed that they they reacted just as poorly to the color red. So uh, the color red and the color black have been banned uh, in in the town uh, since. Is this it? Uh, that, that's it. So so we tried to restrain them, and and that's why there's basically these families standing around the the uh, sort of the perimeter of the dancing, uh, not uh, not. Mm -hmm. You know, restrain any of the dancers because they obviously tried that and it didn't work. Um, and as you're watching, you notice one of the um, one of the family members who just lost one of their the the, the, the deceased dancer. Um, you mm. notice that one of the children starts dancing, kind of in grief, but very soon gets sort of drawn into the dance with the others in the square. But but we will we will let you have your uh, your 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 discussion. But um. Uh, we need to begin playing soon. And they, they back get away. A sense, Murray, do I get a sense that there's something magical going on here? Give me a roll. Give me a... <laughs> Seven <laughs> days later. <laughs> 20,000 <000 laughs> rolls later. <laughs> Are you? Oh well, I didn't. Just, I didn't ask if he was casting a spell. Just, Are you casting just keep rolling a until you fail, basically? Well, there's there's no like sense magic in Maelstrom, but that's the vibe I'm looking for. I mean, that is a spell that game. sounds like a spell. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm gonna say that because you are you are experienced. Um, you keep rolling until you yeah, die. So now. You, you can give me <laughs> uh, one knowledge roll to see if you know the spell. All right. I don't. <laughs> Such a great system. Oh, Never again. I still remember when Ben lit a candle. <laughs> oh, Maelstrom. Uh, I think we made it waver slightly. I think we it was did. We did. We, there was 
there was so many bending of rules to make that magic work and it's good to see that nothing's changed so um so we get some time to, play to chat to who's, each other who's not very yes. good yeah <laughs> sorry john Sorry, John. Do we get a chance to talk to each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've backed away. They've backed away. And they're muttering. You can see that the the division of, of what you just heard about the different um, causes, uh, they're, they're kind of muttering and, and being sort of shushed if they get too loud whilst you have your conversation. Mm. I'm in a bit of a bind, gentlemen. They asked us to play melodic. We? <laughs> and not really a forte. <laughs> I can Perhaps. play on time. Together? Perhaps, perhaps we should play some uh, religious uh, Catholic music. Uh, a, a requiem mass for the fallen. Uh, I agree with Tom Thumb. What if we catch this horrible dancing disease? I'm not a dancer. If no. we sing beautifully for the Lord, he shall protect us. I'm so happy oi, you went oi, with that. That's a good point. I mean, their priests don't seem to have it. Indeed. While, while the, the band's... Faceless. While the band's talking, I'm going to go and speak and try and find if they can give us cash straight away because that, that's my big incentivizer. Like, can you pay in advance? Okay. What do you think? We had oh. oh, all right. Can you um you you come over and 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 um as you detach you yourself from the band who who keep talking, um, you yeah he sort of Peter sees you and 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 comes across uh, um and he's sort of nodding. You you will play. For cash. Uh, yes, as as agreed. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but because they're so um, uh, infected by the music, can we? We'd have to get more protection of the band, of course. Oh well, it's it's um, it, twice it as much. And we'll start playing to... now, or we could leave. It's up to you. Oh oh oh! oh. He goes back, and you know they all gather in a huddle, and there's sort of some gesticulating, and 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 and. Meanwhile, the band. I think we should play. We can yes. play something, can't we? We could we play a, do a, a we dirge. Can to help them. Something nice oh. and slow to bring the energy down. Yes. Yes. I think, yes. I think we need to ease them into it. Like we should start off with something <laughs> lovely and then slow it down and oh, yeah. mellow them out. <laughs> I like that idea. Mm. Can I sing? So let's and play slowly? something fast and slow. Is that what you're? Yes. Is that what you all think? We start oh. fast and then I'll drum slower and slower and slower as we go. I'm really good at that. <laughs> oh, you do seem to be very, very, very good at that. <laughs> I oh. agree. I think this is a good idea. All right. So back uh, with you. Edward, they've yes. had this conversation and, and there's some sort of resigned nods and some looks over the shoulder at the dancers, the fact that they're, they're you know, there's been no abating of the dancing happening. Um, and sh they, they come back and they, they agree to your terms. Um, yes, it's okay, okay, but but we can pay you what we agreed now and we will give you, we will give you the second half uh, at, the, at, the, at the end of, of, of the contract. Okay, I pull the whistle around my neck out and blow it and get everyone up on stage. <laughs> so we're you know, some, some you, you know the whistle. <laughs> you've you've just you've just uh, you've just heard, you know, major agreement to play something fast and then slow it down and, and mellow them out. Oh, uh, yeah. when the whistle um, and like Pavlov's dogs, um, you we start drooling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like uh, the meerkats, like the meerkats of Strasbourg. You suddenly go, what, 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 what? And sure enough, um, you make your way <laughs> up. Uh, onto the stage and as we're ascending the stage i'm i'm starting out with a beat on the d string that goes <laughs> he's playing in drop d gonna bring out the power chord your d string acoustic uh Cat yes. gut. Love it. Love it. <laughs> cat gut. Cat gut. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yep. That's fantastic. That's amazing. I joined okay. in on the drum. Good. Right. The, the, the drum. Completely out of time. <laughs> I need you to give me, therefore. Um, and then, then there's a flute. Uh, so is, is, there a, is there a. 
Well, and the castrato, you like because you, you're you're both in the same um, range. Right. Only so much as that we're not very good at it. <laughs> we we move in beautiful, almost invisible uh, parallel thirds. So much so that you Undu- can't tell undulating you arabesques. <laughs> All right, Absolutely. I need you. What what are we going to do for for band sometimes performance? Sometimes Tom's thumb is on the top. <laughs> And sometimes I'm on the top and we dance together. Did you just say tools. thumb times? I think you just said and thumb times. Thumb 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 thumb. <laughs> um, Murray, can I suggest as, as a, as a skill thumb. that we should roll um, should be persuasion. I was about to say, so I think persuading the skill should everyone be to persuasion. Dance. Persuade them to dance. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see if I we have can. good persuasion. Let's see if we can invent a musical genre in Maelstrom dice rolling. Here we go. How Everybody gonna, roll persuasion, please. How are you succeed, though? Murray, like, how how are we supposed to succeed as a band? How do you want to do it? So we all roll, and if anyone fails, we'll fail. Is that how it works? <laughs> Is that how it works? It's, 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 that's, that's, that's very Maelstrom. That's, that's very fail. Maelstrom. That's very Maelstrom. Uh, everybody <laughs> roll, and if one fails, you fail. Uh, but no, Including we will see the what manager? Was... <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I don't know that. I don't need that. Yeah, I think, I think he, he blew the it. manager. Mm. I think he's going to do the penny whistle. Yeah, nice. All right. Anyway, Derek, give us your persuasion roll, please. I got a nine. Boom. Out of 50. Johnny. I got a 91. <laughs> there you go. No, no, down, have, no need for anyone else to roll now. Up. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll see. We'll see what well, the nine, the nine, nine is only nine above zero and 91 is nine below a hundred. Oh. It's like wow, a numerology like thing real. going on here. Oh. Yeah. John, what's your role? <laughs> I like that. John's like, no. 67, <laughs> which is a fail. Okay. So, Benjamin, what's your persuasion score? Well, rather than persuasion, can I, can I roll <laughs> agil- ag- agility, as in vocal agility? No, everything. Well, is we, we agreed persuasion. Yeah. Persuasion Every, is good. Everything persuasion is persuasion. Is good. So I need you. What is I your score? Agreed. What's your yeah, score I in put persuasion? I agility as well, but, but we're doing persuasion. <laughs> it's all good. I have a plan. What's your score in persuasion? Well, as in the number target, 30. <laughs> yes. But it's a much better if it's agility. Let's see how we go. Are you with trying to persuasion. dodge the question? Are you? <clears throat> yes. yes, he is. He's trying to sing around it. Okay, give me persuasion. I fail. <laughs> Five. What did you roll? What did you roll? Should have just gone 59, flat. At that 59. Moment. 59. 59. 59. There's a nine in 59. There is. There is. This is now you're 67, started. John. What's your what's your persuasion score? Uh, 27. Oh, wow. Right. They need the roadie. Ah. Oh. The roadie. The roadie's on the he's floor. He's gone. He's, Got it. he's back. Roadie. I need you. I need your persuasion. Yep. So 97, uh, what's that? Um, hey! <laughs> that's a good score because it's got a nine in it. It's a, well, I'm glad yes. I rolled high. I haven't rolled high for a few days. It so <laughs> feels like I'm, I'm really putting in, uh, team, you know? It feels so silly, but somehow, but somehow worse. So so essentially, because you haven't had any warm-up or you know any practice, you've gone straight into the stage yes. and just the seen you. this quieting uh, viewpoint um, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the town square, uh, the D absolutely gets blistered and is is what was your what was your beat again derek and then somehow somehow, somehow, somehow the, the you know the, the the memo didn't get to the drums so, and well, what, he's I, not what quite i imagine is time. that we didn't actually discuss what piece of music we were going to play just that <laughs> yeah. we're going to play something fast and get forward. So I think we've all come yeah, in yeah. with a different think, bit think, of our repertoire. Yeah, I think there's a different key and there's also, oh, wait, wait, what, wait, what? Oh, wait, what have we got here? But then again, nine times, nine equals three times three. There are three holy European white men, uh, all majors now. Ooh, you're going to weave some magic. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe the I mage, need to make a magic oh, roll. Maybe the mage bring could, the could together. bring you mm. back together. The magic well, of I, the music. I attempt to magic the music. And it <laughs> the was first question, of course, in any... It was Maelstrom. <laughs> do I <laughs> the first... know the spell? Do you know the spell? The oh, uh, knowledge. <laughs> uh, 98. <laughs> 98. <laughs> oh. I've got to say, 
I'm just going to come to Maelstrom's defense here and go, look, in any system, you guys are rolling 97s and 98s. That's not going to work in any system. Not Maelstrom's fault. You no, know, Murray, in most systems, we would know this spell. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know that you know? So, all we would know which spells we know before we try and cast a spell. Critical fail. You forget most the next spell don't and you don't go, know either. No, I no, well, no, I think, and I think then go, you... but do I really know what spell I'm about to attack? <laughs> Well, it's like I was. We were watching the Harry Potter movies recently, and Obliviate to me is the best attacking spell, and they never use it. They use it like only in sort of gentle. It's like, nah, it's just crazy. Um, so I'm gonna need you to take willpower damage. Um, you're gonna. Oh, I'm gonna roll a dice. What? Is that everyone or just uh, just just the, just the mage yeah. who critically failed on his attempt to roll on his a spell class? Take class one ability. one willpower damage, please, uh, Johnny. Is that permanent or temporary? <laughs> temporary, temporary. You kind of, you know, you 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 strain too hard to try and think of the, uh, think of the. I mean, Johnny, will thing. you ever play this character? <laughs> yeah, D Evil Dice Monkey. We are a tribute band. We're playing songs from the fourteen nineties. Of course. Right, that well-known classic Greensleeves, for instance, always makes a an outing. <laughs> but that might be the mellow song that we get to the end because you can't really dance quickly to to, well, you know. Green sleeves. Um, so, yeah, that. So you you, you haven't gelled. Um, luckily, the Not dancers don't mm. seem, excuse me, to notice at all that you aren't playing uh, a, a tune recognisably. Um, the rest of the you know the crowd at the back, if you're even paying attention to them, as opposed to the mosh pit in front of you, they they're kind of looking a little bit. Oh, um, do we not do we notice at, that we're not playing? That's yeah, you you song. know that you know this isn't quite isn't quite uh, not, your best your best work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apparently um, your singer has no idea, and he's blaming absolutely. the rest of you. But the thing is, um, so I'm going to go along. I'm going to be at the back with them because I am the manager, right? So I'm speaking to them as oh, you're doing, like, you're doing the sound. You're doing the acoustic sound check. Yeah, nice. very much Ooh. so with my little mixer. Um, but I'm actually talking. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's part of the plan. It's part of the set. You got you've got to hear the whole set before you can understand it because it's. <laughs> It's a slow start. Right. Yeah, it's a slow start. It's... So rally us, Nathan. Rally us with an inspirational yeah, so, so, thing. I yeah, give, yeah. Let, well, what was that gonna, is that going to be persuade? That's your, <laughs> that's your inspirational <laughs> talk. Come on, give us an inspirational yeah, yeah. talk. Okay. To get us in. It's more like You're a manager. Yeah, half time. Yeah, half time. What do you want to? Ribbing. What do you want to? What do you want to do? Do you want to do willpower or persuasion? To, I want Nathan to, to rally the troops. Here's Nathan. the thing, right? I'm going to sit at the back and I'm going to start a chant together. Okay. So I'm going to try and get everybody to like, you know, when somebody looks eagerly at a crowd and starts going, come on guys, you can do it. And then start slow chanting. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing with them, with the people there who are all like crying because their family members are dying. And I'm like, you know, if we cheer, maybe that'll help. So I start, you know, doing a 14th century cheer. Which is very um, like a boo. So what's the name? What's the name of your band, uh, by the way? Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, it's uh, obviously called Francesco and others. <laughs> <laughs> Francesco and the others. Yeah, the meatballs. About the um, in yeah. my imagination, anyway, that's what it's called. Francesco and the meatballs. <laughs> Francesco uh -huh. and the meatballs done. <laughs> So I'm definitely starting. All right, what are we chair. rolling? Will uh, Will Well, I think I think I think I'm going to get Nathan to do his um uh, at the back of the band. Eighty three, um, and he's good. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. you're by yourself. But you are. You are. You are. That was good inspirational talk. Can you give nice. me a will give me a willpower roll as well, please, uh, Nathan? Also, you know the talk. you know how like yeah. the. Great talk. Uh, 76. I failed that. Um, so you know how... Like a, you suck. You suck. Yeah, you know how it's always the person at the front of the crowd who gets over eager and just does something expected that everyone else behind them was doing mm -hmm. the exact same thing? You're doing like, that at the back? I tried. I jump back thinking like a crowd surf, but... No. Not this crowd. No. <laughs> um, this Murray? Mm. Derek? Are any of the people stopping for to drink or eat? No, no, they seem to basically dance to the point of exhaustion and then their family try and hydrate them and feed them, but they seem to be in a kind of a... You can see from the stage that they basically are in a trance um, and it doesn't matter that you're playing what is essentially a cacophony. They are dancing 
and you can sort of see that they are dancing to your music so it seems to be effective even though you're not you're not performing to your potential um i need you you, you failed your willpower roll um edward oh yeah don't worry yeah Sorry, used yeah. To it. yeah 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 so um yeah so you you do that whole like yeah chant 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 me put me and then kind of see that no one's joining in um but i want to see whether your your determined uh loyalty to the band inspires them mm. um so right this time round cuz the persuasion suited derek but it didn't suit anyone else vocal uh, agility baby all the vocal way. agility or right, give us vocal agility okay so let's do strength oh. <laughs> with advantage or or like do i get a 10 bonus or something i'm giving you with Vocal agility. You, you you can you can role play to me how amazingly agile you are, counter tenor man. <laughs> I, I fail, unfortunately, <laughs> as you can see generated <laughs> demonstrated by my Oh love it. Not by... with a thirty seven. Yay. Yeah. Worldwide. So suddenly the and I think oh, you might take some inspiration by the fact that the oh and he's getting better. The flautist suddenly comes in with the most blitzing flute solo that puts the, the, the soprano castrato to shame. Um, so you're going to take an inspiration roll. So you're going to roll an extra tens there, uh, Ben, in a minute. Uh, meanwhile, uh, with this amazing flute solo, uh, what are you doing, um, Johnny? Slowing uh, down like usual. <laughs> I feel like um, agility so uh, is the go. Uh, like agility uh, is what? the instruments mm. do all right well uh, i yeah except i feel like i'm i'm trying to like sync up with the mm. pulse with the beat of what's going on here and it's a cacophony so it's hard for me to know mm. Mm. you know where's, so where's this, the downbeat is this willpower <laughs> so maybe well, it's willpower to, like, you had a conductor you had a conductor and then he kind of backed out of being the conductor yep. so you know mm. But I feel like as the drummer, I need to sort of lead. The, you're gonna uh, will. You're gonna will the band members to come into line. The band All right, give me a give me a willpower roll. With my beat. Ninety three. Oh my god! Good roll. Good roll. <laughs> rolled not, over ninety. This is, this Five is not rolls my fault. In a row. This, I can't believe you guys blame this. like Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk about Johnny's it. doing a Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, D Derek. What are you? What are you doing? Look, persuasion is still my highest. Persuasion score, still so your I dude. So what I'm a, going to do is I'm going to rip off my yellow and gold <laughs> coat and go absolutely <laughs> bare chested into the crowd and um, and. Uh, <laughs> oh, you say that you're, you're red and sweating. <laughs> Ooh. No, no, no he's, he, red. He's a... that would be bad. Yeah. Ninety. Oh my! Well, <laughs> would, you say, would you say right now you're red and sweaty? Matt, he's, now, uh, he's, he's, yeah. so, um, I think we're going to take a break yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> we might. Well, well, no, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got to see whether the uh, soprano here, um, whether he can <laughs> sing along with the flute solo. This is the, uh, so you've got say... an advantage. You get inspired by um, the flute, so you roll your tens twice. I'm going to ride on the wave of your beauty, John. Mm, Tom Thumb, the time. Flowingness. I'm going to just nestle into it like like a warm hug. Uh, my first roll is a fail of seventy eight, but I get advantage. So I'm going to re-roll those tens. Yep. Woo! Sure. Oh, zero, zero. I get an eight. Yeah, you suddenly, like like you were a car. Not that anyone oh, wow. a car Just so you know, you're point, killing you everybody. Were a sing <laughs> I go beyond dog so, hearing. Yeah, yeah. So basically you were like missing, missing, missing. And then all of a sudden you hit the right gear and suddenly Absolutely. there is the most beautiful melody of, of you know, harmonic flute and soprano castrato singing and it's gorgeous and it flies out across the the entire uh, square. You can see that the, the council suddenly don't know what just happened right, but suddenly that's really 
what they were looking for. Uh, and therefore, the drummer and the guitarist are both inspired to to play along. So you get advantage as well. So you're going to go with willpower and with advantage, and you're going to go with persuade with advantage, please, Derek. So, Johnny. Drum roll. Get it? Uh, I got 69 or 59, neither of which... Are good enough because 50 is my will you are you are still not quite in sync but i'm getting but you're, closer you're getting closer Be, i'm out uh, of the Derek. 90s Derek. yeah yeah, right. yeah i i have a 51 i roll a 35 so i yeah. can Suddenly. i roll it again to see if i get any lower yes you move to the g-string Ooh. no i don't yes i i, I pull out some chords 35 Whoa, oh chords. wow Woo! Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Modern. the guitarist, the guitarist, absolutely accompanies the flautist and the singer, and it suddenly is a vision flashing forward a couple of hundred mm. years of what music can sound like. Meanwhile, Edward at the back decides oh. that he's going to try and inspire the crowd one more time with advantage. Mm. Are you yeah, using man. persuade or will, or what do you want to use to to when get the, game the crowd? Master is desperate. I am going to use. Um, Persuade. Use speed. Use speed. Mm -hmm. Speed. 66. That'll come later on the guitar solo. Um, with so advantage. I, <laughs> with advantage, plus 10. I still... Um, ben, shut up. So no, so you roll your 10s again. But like, um, yes, yeah, so I do not succeed again, but just. Okay. We All don't right. need his help. No, I was so currently, currently there's a trio which is slamming it. And, and you can absolutely feel that the dancers are coming along with you and they seem to be dancing in rhythm to your gorgeous melodies and harmonies. To our rhythm. Um, yes. Well, the rhythm's, the rhythm's not quite right. <laughs> the, the drummer hasn't well, quite gotten sync. But, to but be fair, meanwhile... at, <laughs> at this stage in, in the development of, of, of Western music, uh, the, the idea of, you know, playing... Holy rhythms and you know, yeah. three two, you know that, that's what's baby. going on here. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah. if Ben throws, if Ben throws in a hey nonny nonny, we are cutting edge right now. <laughs> up and down, um, up and down, up and down, up and down, <laughs> up and down, up and down, in and out, 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 in and out. But you don't know anything about in and out. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> ruin the, don't ruin the magic joke. that the three of you have got. But I, I will leave us for a quick break there whilst three of our oh. band are absolutely doing the job that they've been asked to do in Strasbourg. Uh, and we, and we, we might form a breakaway group called In Sync. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there could be could be a could be a band breakup. There could oh, who knows what's going to happen oh. on uh, you know oh. the, the meatballs might become um, just spaghetti. Who knows? Uh, we will see you in five minutes. Okay. Uh, five minutes. Okay.